In fact, an invitation issued by Tamil Nadu Governor R.N. Ravi for the celebration of Tiruvalluvur Tirunal Vira on May 24, that is today, has sparked a controversy as it shows famous saint poet, that is Tiruvalluvur, clad in saffron robes. While it is not clear as to why the Raj Bhavan is organizing a festival for the same in May, when this particular day comes part of the Pongal festival in January every year, the depiction of the poet in saffron robes, you're looking at their invitation visuals on your screens, and with the religious marks on the forehead and upper arms, has clearly created a controversy. But let's tell you, this is not the first time that a row has erupted over the depiction of the Tamil scent. It did happen in January earlier this year. But the driver parties continue to accuse the BJP of trying to saffronize Tiruvalluvar, who is wearing, depicted only wearing white dress without affiliation to any religion. Dharani, my colleague, joins me for more. Dharani, very good morning. Clearly, this is another bone of contention, but as far as we speak about uh, this particular controversy, this is not the first time. Give us a quick takeaway of what our viewers should know as to why this has become a politically, um, you know, a face-off, rather, between the parties and, of course, the governor's invitation now. In Tamil Nadu, Tiruvallur, they usually celebrated on January 15 or January 16. This has been the tradition for years. But I said there was an invitation from Raj Bhavan uh, in which, uh, you know, it was written uh, that uh, the Raj Bhavan is going to celebrate Tirunal on May 24, that is uh, today. And one more controversy that is surrounding this uh, invitation is that uh, Tirunal can be uh, seen in saffron slots uh, in this uh, invitation. So, of course, it's not the first time uh, Raj Bhavan is involving uh, in such an instance. In fact, in the month of January also, uh, in one such an invitation, um, uh, Raj Bhavan had uh, portrayed Tirunal with with saffron uh, cloth. So this can do uh, two uh, major issues that are acting out of this. One is, uh, uh, you know, giving saffron clothing to the Tiruvalluvar image. And the other is, uh, how did Dras Bhavan arrive at the date of uh, May 24 for uh, Tiruvalluvar Tirana? This, this, this is the one that's being questioned by the Dravidian parties. Uh, in fact, when right. he tried getting in touch with uh, a comedian and PKK Yelengo, when he is questioning how the governor, on based on which history, he arrived at the date of uh, May 24 for Tiruvalluvar Tirana when Dravidian parties for years have been celebrating the day on January 16th. All right, Dharani, since you spoke about the political reactions, thank you very much for telling us what this controversy is about. But let's also listen in to those reactions quickly. I don't know how the uh, governor had chosen tomorrow, May 24th, as a Thiruvallur day. Maybe he was living in the time of Thiruvallur and he prepared the Jataka of Thiruvallur, his, by, his birth, uh, knowing the, his birth time and all. This is, he is becoming a joker now. The governor is becoming a joker. Who said that May 24th is the rule over day? How can he claim that? See, the original birthday of Thiruvalluvar, if you look in the Tamil calendar, it comes in the month of Vaigasi, Anusha Natchatram, which falls tomorrow, the 24th of May, is when the actual birthday of Thiruvalluvar is. But as always, DMK has a history of changing the dates of various Tamil festivals because they have no belief in the Tamil culture and they don't have no belief in the existence of Hindu gods. I should, I should specify the word Hindu gods because they believe in the existence of gods of other religions. But Hindu gods don't exist according to the DMK. So they've changed the date of the Tamil New Year. They've changed the date of Thiruvalluvar's birthday. Every person in Tamil Nadu knows that Thiruvalluvar day is Jan 15th, which is celebrated and it's a dictated government holiday. There is no records, however, which states that tomorrow is Thiruvalluvar Day. If somebody attempt to distort history to their benefit, we strongly condemn it. From when onwards, color started being associated with religion. Does it mean that if uh, Thiruvalluvar picture were to be in green color, in a green dhoti, would it mean minority appeasement? This kind of thoughts which show the thought of divisiveness is highly condemnable. And whoever does that intentionally, be it Raj Bhavan office or be it BJP or any political party, we strongly condemn it.